Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Mindy here and I hope you are doing very, very well. Today I really wanted to go through some new samples of some very popular vanillas that I'm super excited to share my thoughts on, as well as some other fragrances that I recently brought into my collection blindly. A lot of very popular fragrances I've been hearing about that I wanted to share my thoughts with you. Sadly, I will not be able to do that today because I did end up testing positive for COVID. And right now I'm experiencing something called olfactory dysfunction, where I've essentially lost a good part of my ability to smell. I am now on day 10 of COVID. I feel great, I'm feeling much, much better. My family is doing great. But unfortunately it's pretty common from what I read on day five or so to start to lose your sense of smell and then regain that around day seven to 14. It could be later than that, though I hope that's not the case. Fortunately, my family experienced COVID very mildly. We believe that we had this passed on to us from our kids. Both my husband and I tested positive. The kids did not because I think they had very, very mild conditions. We had some of the aches, fever, pain, chills the first couple days, and then it ultimately translated over to kind of a mild cold. I'm glad it's done with. It definitely wasn't any fun to go through. Really, really glad that it's over and I'm able to move forward, but super disappointed that I don't have my full sense of smell intact. That means that it makes it very difficult to try out new fragrances, share my thoughts with you, because I feel that any sort of impression that I have on them is not fully functioning at this point. And so I wanted to wait until my full sense of smell is back up and running and I can give you a fair and accurate readout on the fragrances I want to share my thoughts on. So instead of sharing those fragrances with you, I did want to come to you from my master bathroom and share how I store my fragrances. This is where I display the fragrances that I use the most. This represents a lot of those 100 fragrances for 100 uploads that I reviewed recently. A lot of those perfumes are those that I've reached for the most and they can be found in this area. I do have around 75 other fragrances that I think of as overflow. Those are Dua brand fragrances or clones. There are a lot of fragrances that I'm thinking about cycling out of my collection. Some of them are fragrances that I like, but they lay flat and they don't fit necessarily in this display here. So I keep those in drawers in different cupboards throughout my house. And while they're stored in different places, I know exactly where each one of them are. I don't consider this to be optimal for me. This is something that I'm thinking about more temporarily. Eventually what I'd love to have is a big glass display or a big glass case or something like that that I could fit in my bedroom. But right now, that's just not possible. When we moved into this home, there were two of us. Now we have four of us and we built out all of the furniture and all of the bedrooms that we have. We don't have a lot of room to put big storage displays for fragrance. So sadly, my perfume journey started after we had kind of furnished this house. So at some point, I think I could get creative maybe, but I do think it's a little bit risky having kids run around the house and there is a risk of them being damaged, falling or destroyed if I were to put something up in my bedroom. That being said, this is working out for me right now. I do think this is great because it's easily accessible. When I get ready in the morning, I just come over here, stare at my perfumes for about five to 10 minutes, <laughs> try to figure out what I wanna wear for the day based on what I'm feeling. And this is a great way for me to be able to see all of those fragrances that I really like in one place. I've seen a lot of other people curate their fragrances down to a size of 50 perfumes or 75 perfumes, and that's something that I'd really like to work towards. I want a collection that has only fragrances that I love, only fragrances that I feel amazing wearing. I do have a lot of fluff in my collection now, hence the drawers that I mentioned, the cupboards, some of the other places where I'm storing all of those overflow fragrances. Please let me know if you have any ideas or suggestions on ways that I can improve this. I did think about bringing in some glass displays or something so I can stack them up, maybe lift some of my favorite fragrances a little bit higher, make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, but I haven't really taken the time to do that. Mostly my focus has been on getting new perfumes in my collection, trying new things, 
what I'd really love to do is start to work on my display and organizing this in a way that looks a little bit nicer. One last thing I'll mention is that I think that organizing your fragrances physically is really nice and that's something I probably need to do a little bit better of, but also organizing them mentally. So I like to track all of my fragrances in a spreadsheet. I'm interested to know if anyone else does that. I like to plug into the fragrance spreadsheet, you know, what the brand is, what the notes are, if I have a full bottle or just a sample, what the accords are, how the fragrance is classified, my overall thoughts on the fragrance because those thoughts change over time and it's always fun to go back and look at what you thought about a perfume before. I also keep the rating in there as well. So I'm interested to know what things do you do to organize your perfumes? Give me some ideas, give me some tips, definitely want to hear from you on ways that I can improve this display and how I'm managing my perfumes. All right guys, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I truly appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video on how I store my perfumes, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I hope you have a lot to be grateful and thankful for. Until next time, I'll see you soon.